Good evening. My name is David Greip, Arizona President for Notre Dame Federal Credit Union. On behalf of our Board of Directors, 257 employee partners, and over 61,000 member owners, it is my honor to be with you this evening. For the third consecutive year, Notre Dame Federal Credit Union is pleased to be a guardian of hope where we remain steadfast supporters of Catholic education. Like many of you, Catholic education has played a prominent role in my life. For those of us that have attended Catholic schools, we have received the important foundation in key subjects that have allowed us to flourish in our society. With this groundwork, it is up to us to utilize our skills and gifts learned to further propel us to a life of self-discovery and service. It is through all of our participation that together we can create a financial ecosystem that supports all families, regardless of economic situations. Let's have a wonderful evening. God bless. Good evening, everyone. I'm Nancy Padberg, President and CEO of Catholic Education Arizona. On behalf of our Board of Directors, our associates, and myself, we celebrate being a guardian of hope and our 25th anniversary this year. During this time, we have awarded 148,000 scholarships to students through individual and corporate tax credits. Thank you. Together, we help create future leaders with focus on faith, family, and future.
Good evening, and welcome to our Night of Hope. I'm Dominic Salsi, Superintendent of Catholic Schools for the Diocese of Phoenix. We're glad that you're here with us tonight, and your continuous support of Catholic Schools is appreciated. Your generosity in giving tonight, as well as in the future, is needed. There's some great and exciting things happening in our state of Arizona that may greatly benefit Catholic school families in the future. But please know, there's still tremendous financial need for our students. I hope you enjoy getting to know them this evening, and they are very inspiring. And now I'm pleased to welcome Bishop Dolan. We're so glad to have you here. Good evening and welcome. Buenas tardes y bienvenidos. Welcome to the 2022 Night of Hope virtual event. Bishop Dolan, and I'm very excited to be joining this great event for the first time. We have an exciting evening lined up for you. Thank you for joining us. I grew up in California and I went to Catholic schools my whole life, grade school, high school, college, and seminary. In fact, my family lived right between a Catholic parish and a Catholic college. I've always been surrounded by Catholic education and it played a crucial role in my faith, my family life, and my future of becoming a priest and bishop, which is why I'm so grateful for Night of Hope. It has flourished over the years and has borne much good fruit, including Catholic School Support 365, an emergency fund to keep our Catholic school and students enrolled when their family goes through an unexpected financial crisis. This fund allows us to support our students 365 days a year. What a gift. We are excited to share more about this initiative with you tonight. As we gather to celebrate the gift of Catholic education, I'd like to share a wonderful quote with you. We need saints with jeans and tennis shoes. We need saints that go to the movies, that listen to music, that hang out with their friends, we need saints for the 21st century. Some have attributed this quote to St. Pope John Paul II, others to Pope Francis. Regardless, the sentiment is clear. The holiness of our young people is a great gift to our world, and we are grateful for our Catholic school communities that help foster many saints in the making. As you see the faces of our many wonderful students tonight, I encourage you to pray for them that they may continue to personally encounter the living Christ through their Catholic education and become the saints they were created to be. And to the many students who are watching, thank you. God has a great purpose for your life, and I encourage you to keep seeking Him with your whole heart. Tonight's special event would not be possible without the tremendous efforts of our Night of Hope co-chairs, Patty Serrano, and Kathleen Sable. Thank you both for your great work for Catholic schools. Patty, thank you for your leadership. Thank you, Bishop, for your kind introduction. I'm Patty Serrano, and I've been involved in education for over 30 years. As a teacher myself, I'm passionate about Catholic education and all it provides to students. Most importantly, the opportunity to encounter Jesus and grow in holiness. Growing up, my parents made sure that my four siblings and I were able to attend Catholic elementary school. It was difficult for them as they had only one income and it required a significant sacrifice on their part. I'm deeply grateful for this gift they gave us. It has inspired me to help provide students with the opportunity to attend Catholic schools no matter what their financial circumstances are. This is where Night of Hope and Catholic School Support 365 come in. No student should be kept from attending one of our outstanding Catholic schools. Now, it's no secret, we're here to invite you to help Catholic School Support 365. We need your help. As you're watching tonight, please consider giving a gift to help invest in our Catholic school students, those many saints in the making. It is my great pleasure to share a glimpse into our Catholic schools. Enjoy hearing from the students themselves about how their Catholic education 
impacts their faith, family, and future. I see Jesus in the kindness of others. I see Jesus in all the students and all the teachers. I see Jesus in the sun. I see God in the Catholic Church, and I also see Him when I pray at night. I see Jesus in, every, in everything I do. I see Jesus when, really, like when you just look around the school, you can really see Him a lot. It's a really, like, holy and great community here. You'll see a great family, basically. My teacher told me Jesus made everything. We see Jesus in our friends. We see Jesus in our hearts. We see Jesus everywhere. My favorite part of Catholic school is the teachers. My favorite thing about my Catholic school is that on Fridays we all gather together as a family and we pray in church together. My favorite part about going to a Catholic school are the amazing teachers and faculty. My favorite part about going to a Catholic school is the awesome community. My favorite part about going to a Catholic school is going to Mass. I love going to Mass because you just get this moment of peace and calm. And you just get to sit there and be with Jesus and feel your faith. It's amazing. My favorite thing about attending a Catholic school is all of us participating in Mass with all my classmates. It makes us feel like a community. The thing I love about my Catholic school is going to Mass here and listening to the choir. What I like to, about going to a Catholic school is I get to talk about Jesus. I get to be around people like me. My favorite thing about going to a Catholic school is learning about Jesus and living out my faith. My favorite thing about going to a Catholic school is that I can profess my faith freely without having to think about being judged just because I'm Catholic. My favorite thing about being in a Catholic school is learning about Jesus and God. What I like the most about OMC is the respect that others give you and the opportunity that we have to be able to go to Mass. My favorite part about being at a Catholic school is just practicing our faith here. My favorite thing about my Catholic school community is that everybody is inclusive and friendly. And my favorite thing about the Catholic community is that everyone is caring, kind, and friendly. My favorite thing is that we all go to weekly mass together. I live out my faith by praying to Jesus. I live out my faith by helping others and leading by example. I live out my faith by going to Mass, praying every day, and going to an awesome Catholic school. I live out my faith by going to Mass every Sunday. I put my service into action by serving, altar serving, and a Catholic church. My favorite service project is going to Belize. I went with friends and family and taught English and reading at a Catholic school. My favorite service project was in sixth grade when my class made a piñata, a couple of piñatas for our teacher that was sick. My Catholic school feels like family because they love and forgive me no matter what. My Catholic school feels like family because it's just a great community and, you know, you hang out with everybody all the time just like in a regular family. And, you know, I feel like here I've made bonds that'll last a lifetime. My Catholic school feels like a family because we all hang out and we all talk in groups and we try to make sure no one's left out. And it's really fun because we have the funniest conversations. My favorite thing about my Catholic school family is that it feels like a genuine family where all the students know all the teachers and staff, and we all treat one another with love and respect. My Catholic school family here at St. Teresa's is the faculty and staff. We've really become like a family, um, and I look forward to coming to work every day to be with them. My Catholic school feels like a family because whatever the situation may be, whether it's a student, a staff member, or anyone on campus that is in need, whether they're in need of prayers, of help at home, there isn't a staff member, a student, a student's family that isn't ready to jump in and help whenever they're needed. My favorite thing about our Catholic school community here at Immaculate Conception Catholic School is that we have a nice, small, tight-knit community. Catholic education has impacted my children by providing a strong Catholic character development and a virtuous faith and morals. We're really thankful for Catholic education because it's provided our boys with the opportunity to go to Mass every Tuesday. They've had amazing teachers throughout the first, second, and kindergarten, as well as preschool. 
The most important thing though is that they're able to grow closer to God and to be able to learn about the saints. And we're really thankful for the Night of Hope. We are so grateful to St. Thomas Aquinas to give our family an opportunity to practice our faith in a learning environment. We're so thankful for the opportunity to pray throughout the day, attend weekly mass and adoration. Thank you, Night of Hope. And thank, thank you, St. Thomas Aquinas. A Catholic education has impacted my children by giving them a solid academic and Christ-centered foundation which has helped them navigate through life successfully. I believe that it's important to send them to a school where they can be amongst their peers and have a faith-based education that would be really well-rounded. As an alumni of St. Peter and Mission School, I think it's a great opportunity to bring my own children to this school. Having Sister Martha, Sister uh, Barbara Jean as uh, my teachers, be my children's teachers, is a great uh, faith-based Catholic education. I work at St. Vincent de Paul Catholic School. My three daughters are very blessed and fortunate to be able to attend Catholic school. My little one here is at St. Vincent Preschool. Thank you so much for supporting Catholic education. La educación católica es importante para nuestra familia porque no solamente provee un nivel alto académico para los estudiantes, sino que también los expone diariamente a nuestra fe católica y por lo tanto los ayuda a ser fieles discípulos de Jesús. Thank you for supporting Notre Dame Prep. The last four years here have been some of the most difficult of my life, but they've taught me to grow in so many ways. Next fall, I will be attending West Point and going into mechanical engineering. I hope one day to become an engineer for the military. Go Saints! Attending Notre Dame Prep for the last four years has really instilled in me the values of reverence, respect, and responsibility. And because of that, next year, I will be going to Hillsdale College and studying pre-law, um, since I would like to become a constitutional lawyer. Thank you for supporting Catholic education, especially Notre Dame Prep. Thank you for supporting Xavier College Preparatory. I am a freshman at ASU Barrett, studying marketing in the W.P. Carey School of Business. One day, I hope to be working in marketing for a global company. Thank you for supporting Catholic education. I'm a proud St. Mary's graduate heading to Benedictine College in Kansas to study exercise science. Thank you. I just graduated from St. Mary's Catholic High School. I want to give a big thank you to the Diocese of Phoenix, and I'm headed off to the Naval Academy next year where I'm going to train to be a naval officer, and I hope to fly helicopters. I'll be studying neuroscience at the University of Notre Dame. Thank you for supporting Morgan Catholic High School. I'll be attending the University of Mary, majoring in biology. My goal is to become a pediatric doctor. Thank you for supporting students at Seton Catholic Prep. I'm going to be studying film production at Loyola Marymount University next fall. My goal is to become a filmmaker. Go Sentinels! Thank you for supporting students. Thank you for supporting Brophy students. I will be going to UCLA to study economics. Thank you for supporting students at Brophy. I'm going to Loyola Marymount University and I'm studying engineering and I hope to be an engineer. I graduated from Pope John, St. John the 23rd in 2005 and Notre Dame Prep in 2009. Today I run a marketing company, marketing agency, and I work with uh, some of my brothers and best friends from, from high school and, and, and love it. I'm an engagement manager with the Diocese of Phoenix. I graduated from Seton Catholic High School in 2012. My Catholic education prepared me for a successful career in teaching me that the most important thing in my life is Jesus Christ and instilling in me the desire to know the Lord. And that has allowed me to go further in my career than I ever would have imagined or ever thought possible. So thank you so much. I'm so grateful for my time in Catholic school. I am a 2006 graduate of St. Thomas the Apostle Catholic School and a 2010 graduate of Xavier College Prep. Thank you for your support of Catholic education. I graduated from St. John the 23rd in 2005, uh, Brophy College Prep in 2009, and now I work as a uh, police sergeant for the town of Wickenburg. Hi, my name is Connor Kampanik. I'm a seminarian from St. Benedict Parish in Ahwatukee, and I went to Catholic school from kindergarten through high school. What impacted me the most about my time in Catholic school was getting to be a part of uh, 
a strong Catholic culture where I got to interact with uh, strong Catholic families who really exemplified the faith. Uh, apart from learning the theology, taking all the classes in school, I really cherished the friendships that I made, uh, not just with the peers in my class, but also families that I continue to stay in touch with today. Thank you for investing in our family and future. Thank you for investing in my faith, family, and future. Thank you for investing in my faith, family, and future. Thank you for investing in my faith, family, and future. Thank you for investing in family, faith, and my future. Gracias por invertir en mi familia y futuro. Thank you for supporting my Catholic education. Thank you. Thank you for investing in my faith, family, and future. Thank you for supporting my Catholic education. Thank you for supporting my Catholic education. Thank you for investing in my faith, my family, and my future. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed that wonderful video. A special thank you to all of our schools for their participation and to Grand Canyon University for putting it all together. Hi, my name is Kathleen Sable and as Patty and Bishop Dolan mentioned, I serve as one of the co-chairs for the Night of Hope. I am fortunate to have attended Catholic school throughout my entire education journey, including Our Lady Perpetual Help in Scottsdale, Xavier College Prep, and St. Mary's College at Notre Dame, Indiana. Through my own experience, I learned that students at Catholic schools have access to great academics, stellar athletics, opportunities for on-campus leadership through extracurricular activities and community service projects, all while receiving a Christ-centered education. Catholic schools are important to me because they educate and develop the entire person. Here, students learn about who they are as children of God and their role in the world. As St. Pope John Paul II summed it up, Catholic education is above all a question of communicating Christ, of helping form Christ in the lives of others. Jesus is our hope and our Catholic schools are committed to bringing our kids, families, and the community closer to Jesus. As I watched tonight's video clips, I couldn't help but think of the joy in these kids' faces and how their faith played such a central role in their education and formation. It was also fun to see the alumni and how their Catholic education has helped them throughout their lives. Thank you for joining us and for supporting our Catholic school students. I hope you will join me in making a gift to Catholic School Support 365. It can be a one-time gift or you can give monthly. Whatever you can give is greatly appreciated. Thank you. Bishop Dolan, back to you. Thank you, Kathleen. The students we've met tonight are just great. And now I'd like to introduce you to one more special student guest, Michael Jaramillo from St. Francis Xavier Catholic School with all the details about how you can help us tonight. Welcome, Michael. Hi, Bishop Dolan. Thank you so much for that lovely introduction. So first off, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Michael Jaramillo, and I go to St. Francis Xavier School in Phoenix, Arizona, and I'm very, very grateful for my Catholic education. I love that I get to be a part of the school choir with Mr. Browner and act in our school productions with Mrs. Robinson and Mr. Pavaro, alongside some of my best friends while also growing in my faith. And I also learn how to serve others well. I'm grateful to everyone who made my education possible, including my parents, my teachers, and people like you. So first off, thank you so much for being here tonight. Thank you for showing up and listening to the messages from students in our Catholic schools. 
Second, I encourage you to donate to Catholic School Support 365. That's Catholic School Support 365. You never know who you're helping. It could be a classmate or friend of your own child or grandchild, your niece or nephew. I promise you, it's someone who really needs your help and support. You could be supporting a student just like me. I feel safe and loved at St. Francis. My teachers make learning so much fun and they always help me when I'm struggling. My little sister and my brother also go to my school and they have very similar experiences. My mom, who is also a teacher at St. Francis, teaches sixth and seventh grade theology. My school family and my real family are always with me. By donating, you make this special opportunity available for other students too. And the best part is, it's so, so easy to give to Catholic schools. So the easiest way to make your gift is to go online at dphx.org slash donate and click Catholic School Support 365. That's dphx.org slash donate. Or you may have received one of our Catholic School Support letters in the mail, or your child may have brought home a form home from school. You can fill out this form and return it with them to their school or mail it to us. Last, you can call 602-354-2235 and they can help you make a gift. That's 602-354-2235. It's really that easy. I encourage everyone to give a gift to Catholic School Support 365. Even better, did you know that the school with the highest percentage of gifts has the chance to win $5,000? It's a lot of money to help students. So please help us make your gift, big or small, right away. I really love my school and I really want all of my friends and other kids to be able to receive a great Catholic education and this awesome opportunity we get in school. Thank you so much for your time and your gift tonight. Bishop, back to you. Thank you, Michael. That was very well said. You give me great hope for the future of our church. Many people have attended Catholic schools in their life or have been impacted by someone that has received a Catholic education. Let's continue this great impact. Tonight's Night of Hope is all about supporting those that are in need of tuition assistance. With over 14,000 Catholic school students in our diocese and 73% of our students needing some form of tuition assistance, the need is great. And that's where you come in. I invite you to consider making a gift. No gift is too small or too large. This is where it gets exciting. We have received a $1 million matching gift from the Rechterman Family Charities. This means that we have the opportunity to raise $2 million to help our Catholic school families in need of emergency tuition assistance. Hello, everyone. I want to thank you for joining us tonight. My name is Barb Rechterman. The beautiful part of Catholic education is both the phenomenal education that our children get, but also it is the incredible foundation for understanding and learning our Christian faith. I want to thank you all for joining us tonight. And Frank and I feel so strongly about this that what we've decided to do is we've decided to match every dollar, every donation up to a million dollars. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. And for, for those of you who can donate, I appreciate it. I thank you for it. And for those who cannot, say a prayer for our kids. They need us. Thank you. In addition, the following generous benefactors are joining together to support this effort. Catholic Education Arizona, Notre Dame Federal Credit Union, Catholic Community Foundation, Catholic Cemeteries, Grand Canyon University, Mike and Sheila Geddes, and Don and Jane Huzenga have stepped up to provide lead gifts toward the $1 million match, totaling $340,000. We are really blessed. Many thanks to these families and organizations who believe and value Catholic education. Will you help us reach our goal of $2 million for tuition assistance in our Catholic schools? Every additional gift up to $1 million will be matched dollar for dollar your gift, whether one time or monthly, will be doubled, having twice the impact. I invite you to share this video on social media and with a friend or loved one to continue growing the impact of Catholic School Support 365. 
thank you for your prayerful consideration. As we end tonight, please know how grateful I am for the support that you have shown by being present. Thank you to our Night of Hope co-chairs, Kathleen Sable and Patty Serrano, for the leadership and love you put into this event. A big thank you to the Night of Hope Committee, Dominic Salse and the Catholic Schools Office, all the principals, faculty and staff of our Catholic schools. Your dedication to help educate and support our young people is a great blessing. Many thanks to our parents and guardians who are raising our young people. It's a sacrifice in love and a path to holiness. I want to personally thank you for your efforts. And finally, thank you to our students. You are a great gift and our world needs you. We are praying for you that you may continue to come to know Jesus more fully and become the saints Jesus created you to be. Have a good night and God bless you all. Dios los bendiga. Thank, Thank you, you for supporting my Catholic, Catholic education. education. Thank, Thank you for investing in our faith, family, and future.